playing Sequest on the Atari 2600, and in this you play a submarine, and you pick up divers that are in distress because they're surrounded by sharks and all sorts of sea critters. You rescue five or six or, you know, until your ship is full. Uh, and you do so before you run out of oxygen because otherwise you'll all perish. So basically this is a side sideways shooter. Whoops. And those subs should actually shoot at you. So um, it's a very fun game. You can't go up before you have any di rescued any divers, so... And you just ruin your uh, chances by uh, entering or surfacing with only your ship half full, because you do get to another level, a more advanced level, which is more difficult. The sound can be a bit grating. At the same time, it's it's pretty effective. Now my ship is full, so I resurface and I almost got out of uh, was out of oxygen. So and because the system is only capable of so many sprites on screen, if you shoot a vertical row or horizontal row of uh, enemies you basically get a diver quicker. Now here you have another sub that actually uh, travels the surface and you have to avoid that because if you run into that or if it runs into you, even after you've, after you've delivered your load, uh, it can actually cause you to die. Yeah, and you, you better not move in front of those subs because they really will... Ah, I'm full. Whoops, and I fly, or what is it, fly? I boat into this... Uh... Okay, let's try again. So the first level is quite easy, picking up the picking up the, the little divers, but it's it's getting more and more elaborate and difficult to do so. Now the reason for me to make this is not to make a review or a let's play of this. It's actually a my feeble attempt to beat Electric Adventure's high score, which is crazy. And I probably won't be able to. I believe he scored close to 200,000, and he really is pretty good at this game. He played this a lot, and I actually I didn't end up playing this that much. to shoot the aliens out of the water because otherwise you won't, you actually won't get rewarded with uh, the aliens out of the water, the, the sharks out of the water. And now it's best to surface behind, whoops, behind that submarine and not crash into it. Ay, 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 ay. Well, this is not a score that is into the uh, 200,000. Well, as you can see, uh, 
that little ship on the surface is actually still advan advancing towards you the moment you uh, empty out your ship. So if you surface before that ship, in front of it, um, in its way, then it will actually still end up destroying you. And of course you don't want to run out of air. Oh, I seem to be repeating myself. I just, just remain in the path of those subs that actually shoot at you, and you just can't avoid those bullets. You just can't. So why I have the audacity to think that I actually am able to dodge those bullets, I'm not sure, but... Okay, let's surface behind it. So a very addictive uh, game, and, and graf oops, graphically very interesting. I mean, considering the limitations of the machine, I mean, there's no really, no real weird artifacts and, and that glitches or flickering. So this is actually programmed very nicely. Mind you, those uh, programmers on the 2600, they really had to make their own graphic routines. So everything, and all the timing and all the, well, all the, the 2600 uh, basically uh, draws the screen, uh, every line of the screen from top left to bottom right. And if you want to do something with it, you just have to uh, uh, make sure that you change the color of the, of the ray that draws the lines on the screen and stuff. So basically you can have player missiles on the screen, but you really have to time it, you know, you really have to switch, whoops, look, that's what happens if you, if you are in front of the submarine, whoops, this is actually quite tough. So 205, oh no, it's, it's 20,580, I think I'm just, uh, I'm dying to try it again. Let's, yeah. okay. Let's be a bit patient and not advance through the levels that much. And just keep shooting and destroying all those. I keep wanting to go in front of those subs, but I really I shouldn't. I'm cocky like that, I guess. resurface. So I'm just I'm able to bring one ashore so you actually get you don't you're not able to uh, empty your half filled ship. And I think that if you actually surface and empty your ship when it's not filled, you actually advance a level still, which is actually more difficult. So Ah, I keep doing that with these subs. Crazy. I shouldn't. Because really, that just cost, costs me a lot of money. Whoops, and ships, and whatever. I've had my fail. Oh, and now I may actually get destroyed by the ship advancing. Wow! Yep. Yep. So that's a, that's a tough game, but it's a nice little game. It's very easy to pick up. And you know the rules pretty quickly, but uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a very tough game. I think I'll, uh, I'll put a link to Tony's video. in this video or below, let's surface behind it, 
so you can actually see how well he does. I think with this game it's all about the, diag the diagonals and not flying into your opponents or drifting into your opponents. Ah, I could have had those divers, but... Ah. Oh well, let's try it again. Oops. Like any 2600 game, the sound must be absolutely grating, driving many parents or grandparents absolutely insane. Perhaps there's even uh, some damaged. Uh, hearing impairments because of people being exposed to this grating sound for prolonged periods of time at high volumes. It's a tough game. <laughs> I'm not beating Electric Adventures, but yeah, this is my feeble attempt at uh, at his high score. So uh, yeah, epic fail, I can say. Yeah, so <laughs> epic fail, not really uh, a great high score, but a cool game. And uh, link down below to uh, to Electric Adventures. Great run. Of this game. If you really want to see someone uh, that really knows how to play this game, go check out the video. And I'll be back with another video soon.